Hi guys, Emma from Podopedia here, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about the fat pad underneath your feet. So you've got loads of these, there's a big one underneath the heel, but you've actually got quite a lot of a fat pad underneath sort of the metatarsal areas. Um, and this is really, really important for shock absorbing and uh, comfort when you're, when you're moving around. Now we wear footwear as uh, modern humans, um, but the fat pad originally obviously was designed to help shock absorb when we weren't wearing any shoes. So a lot of people find that they have problems and, and uh, pain in the areas, specifically under here and under their heel, when their fat pad starts to decline. Sadly, this is an age-related problem. Your fat pad stiffens up as you age, um, and so it's just not as good at doing its job. So a lot of people come in and say, you know, it really, really hurts under here, and there's not a lot we can do to take the pain away in terms of a treatment, you know, because we can't sort of add fat particularly in that area, but what we can advise uh, on is mainly is shoes and footwear. So, a lot of people are wearing flexible and thin soled shoes. Now, there's nothing wrong with this shoe in particular, I'm not picking it out of a crowd saying that's a terrible shoe, but if you've got pain under the ball of your foot or under your heel, something that doesn't have a particularly thick sole or is very flexible might not be the right shoe for you. This is another example of a shoe that somebody might be wearing and if they've got a fat pad atrophy or pain under this area, then this sort of shoe isn't going to be ideal. Okay, this is a really supportive, nice walking boot and it's much less flexible there. Okay, it's got a really good thick, solid sole, lots of room and is much less flexible. So that's a good example of something that might help. And here's another one. So this is a running trainer, a walking trainer and it's really not very flexible at all there. So it's not going to be putting stress underneath. Also, you can see how thick that sole is. It's going to give you loads of comfort um, when, as your own natural soft tissue are started to decline. So I've mentioned that we can't repair the fat pad, nobody can uh, repair that for you surgically, but there are things that we can do to help. So one of the first things you should try is of course changing your footwear. You can put gel pads, you can buy these in pharmacies or your podiatrist can supply those for you. Um, they could give you some insoles that have got lovely cushioning materials in them, but also more and more now podiatrists are uh, doing something called dermal fillers. You've seen these I think probably in, in the news, uh, in the media, uh, for facial fillers, but we can do the same thing under the foot. It's great, it really, really works well. It lasts three to six months, something like that. Um, and there are more and more podiatrists now training in dermal fillers of the feet. So when you go and find a podiatrist through podopedia.co.uk, give them a call, have a chat with them and see if they can offer this. If you do have corns or callus underneath your foot, because the soft tissues are sort of declining a little bit, um, that this area may harden up, a podiatrist can of course help you with that too. And they will advise, as we all do, good daily emollient use. Of course, there are some medical conditions that uh, cause fat pad damage. Things like rheumatoid arthritis or diabetes, for example. So if you want more information on these and how these medical conditions can affect your feet, you can go to our medical conditions section in the expert podiatry advice part of Podopedia. So if you liked our videos, guys, please click subscribe on our YouTube channel and you'll get more content updated all the time.